The field course to South Africa is an optional module that students can take in their second year. It's a long running field trip, it's very popular and it's certainly a real highlight for all those that take it and also for those that teach on it, such as myself. So the students spend 12 days at Mankwe Wildlife Reserve. Uh, it's a really exciting and stimulating environment to work in where they're provided with training in and the opportunity to implement a wide range of ecological census, monitoring and evaluation techniques, um, as well as building up on their species identification and tracking skills. So activities range from uh, walked large mammal transects, sweep netting for invertebrates, vegetation condition index, bird point counts, uh, camera trapping, to name just a few. Alongside this, the students continually learn about the ecology and conservation of the South African bushveld, gaining practical experience and knowledge of applied ecological issues such as both land and wildlife management in a game reserve, uh, environmental assessment and conservation of uh, rare and threatened species, including anti-poaching. So they're long days, but they're very rewarding. Uh, it's not all work, work, work. So after nine pretty intensive days in the field, we reward the students by taking them on a game drive um, through Pelandsburg National Park, which is very close to where we live, where we stay. And it's home to the Big Five. So this year we had very good sightings of elephant, rhino and lion, plus a corby busted, which I was very happy about. The final two days of the trip are dedicated to personal field research projects where students get the opportunity to plan, design and then ultimately undertake an ecological field investigation of their choice. So this year we had students do projects on a real diversity of topics, um, including the impact of burning on plant diversity, uh, dragonfly diversity at varying uh, water sources, um, and also the feeding associations between birds and large mammals. So this is another really great opportunity uh, to put into practice the skills learned during the taught sessions, but also to actually spend some time focusing and enjoying their particular field of interest. So certainly a real highlight of the course, this two-day independent research project. Assessment for this module is made up of four components. So there's a short answer field test, there's also a presentation on one of the many species found at Mankwe, uh, ongoing write-up uh, of practical sessions as a field notebook, um, which they also get to keep after, after the field trip as well, uh, plus the write-up of their personal project. So the vast majority of the assessment is completed before we all fly back home, which is really good. So it's an action-packed field trip, filled with both theoretical and practical learning opportunities. Uh, the students definitely come away from it with more confidence, uh, a larger skill set, and of course many fond memories as well.